a longtime stills photographer, I didn't always think about audio. And in making this film, I came to realize that good, rich audio is every bit as important as the cameras and the lenses that I'm using. Whew. For this film, we had three primary sound systems. The first was a Rode video mic that attaches directly to the hot shoe of the camera and plugs directly in. It's lightweight, it goes everywhere the camera goes. It's great for capturing B-roll and ambient sound. Our second system was the Zoom H4n field audio recorder. The beauty of this is it has two XLR inputs that can run phantom power. Also, it has onboard stereo mics. You can put this in the hot shoe of a camera and the audio from this can be recorded directly into your camera if you want to plug it in and leave it on your camera or you can put it in a jacket pocket and let the audio record directly to an SD card. And third, when we had more, more resources, we'd use an Ederol four track recorder. For a lot of the scenes that we were shooting in the gym and on the ski slopes, Stephanie Kiltz was our field audio person. She could run two wireless lav mics, one to the coach, one to Heath, and a boom mic that she's holding as she follows them around. We'll try it, we'll try it, what happened? And this recorder also records separately to an SD card, so we'll sync this later in post. We shot this film with the 5D Mark II and the 1D Mark IV cameras, which shoot H.264 files. We chose Adobe's Premiere Pro CS5 editing software because it works with the files natively. It's plug and play. I worked with the freelance video editor, Dave Ruck from Denver. And the first thing we did was to go over the transcriptions of all the interviews line by line, highlighting each phrase or sentence that we liked and comparing notes and narrowing, narrowing down the list until we had a really tight voiceover. I'm very privileged to be able to do what I'm doing, but at the same time, my kids need a dad. We made a sequence of Heath's best sound bites in Premiere, and we worked on this for days before we added any other B-roll or footage. Heath's voice was the key vehicle to carry us through this whole piece. It's tough, tough on a four and five year old and a seven and a half year old to understand why dad's never home. I worked on a Mac platform and Dave worked on a PC, and we were able to pass the Premiere Pro files back and forth easily. CS5 allowed us to do the whole post-production workflow from start to finish. Editing is an incredibly creative process and it's also incredibly painful. I had to let go of so much good material to tighten our story. But in the end, all this cutting made for a stronger and more concise story. <laughs>